Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And this is really a phase where we're going to see a reversal of fortune for the West. After two or three solid weeks with storm cycles and storms upon storm with just feet of snow, that will not be the case this week with high pressure building in. There are some exceptions like the Pacific Northwest and BC, and I'll show you those coming up. But because of this high pressure and this change of the pattern, good time to take stock of where we're at. I want to take a look at the snowpack. This is snow water equivalent, uh, and we'll look at all the west here. And actually, a lot of the basins are doing quite well. Um, look at that. Up in Washington State, many, many basins, over 100% of normal. Same in Oregon. And look at Tahoe. Look at Tahoe, 173. I mean, who could have imagined that's what an all-time December will do for you with uh, two solid um, atmospheric river sets, uh, river setups in the month of December. I mean, just absolutely dumping. Um, let's take a look at uh, Utah, the Wasatch Front, all over 100%, uh, which is nice to see. New Mexico needs snow badly, 70 to 90% of normal. Colorado, what a story we've got going here. Um, all the major basins, except for one, except for the Arkansas, are all well over 100%. Uh, the Gunnison River Basin, that's the best snowpack in the Gunnison that we've seen since 2011. You look at the statewide snowpack and you average all the basins together, it's the best snowpack since 2017 and 2011. And that's kind of the theme. You have to look back to like 2011. And that was a huge year. For this time of the year, these numbers are good. The uh, Tetons, you're above 100% but very dry up in northeast Wyoming. And this is kind of a split you see in, in uh, Montana. You go east and it's much drier. You go west and there's more snow. Same with Idaho, a lot of good snow up in northern Idaho, although it's not bad in southern Idaho either. So that's a kind of uh, where we stand right now because we're heading into this drier period. The one exception is going to be the Pacific Northwest. While I have high pressure for the lower 48, for most of the lower 48, for most of this time period through the 16th, if you want snow, you got to go to the Pacific Northwest and BC. This is Revelstoke, a beautiful view, a few new inches of new snow. I mean, look at this view up in Whistler Blackholm. Look at that. The coastal range is just looking spectacular with a rare blue sky up there. You have a few inches of new snow from yesterday and last night, but now you're going to have to wait a couple of days. But things are going to look, things are going to turn quite active. In fact, um, that's Colorado with blue skies. We've got blue skies there. This is what I wanted to show you. Look at the time period here: 11, 12, 13. This is um, this is the the plume outlook for the atmospheric river for the Pacific Northwest. There's a weak to moderate atmospheric river forecast coming in: 12, 13. So while it's nice up there in Whistler Blackcomb now. Things are going to change as that storm track shifts, and we could see a weak to moderate atmospheric river affect that area of the Pacific Northwest, and that snow would then get blown into Revelstoke and to interior BC. So things are definitely going to change. Let me show you what the current state of affairs is. Very interesting split in the jet stream. Look at this. So it's going up like this, and then just it's going to start to aim at the Pacific Northwest and interior uh, BC. It's splitting to the south and going like this. So what it's doing is it's moving around a giant area of high pressure that is setting up shop across the west. California, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico. This will be the dominant feature for the next three to five days across the Intermountain West. With all of the action, all of these areas of low pressure, and they're all lined up, getting set to create that atmospheric river setup for the Pacific Northwest and all of B.C., so that's the area to watch this entire week. If you were looking for a place to ski, that's where you want to go. Pacific Northwest, Interior, BC. All right. So let's take a look at my snowfall. No, let's do the, the future. Let's do the future uh, radar here. This is the GFS. So here's what it's got. I'm going to move this into the future pretty quick. That's Monday. It's all high pressure for the Intermountain West. Tuesday, Wednesday. And look at the flow up in the Pacific Northwest. That's where all the action's going. You can see the snow. I mean, I'm just rolling this. There's a little indication of some moisture there on the 14th, kind of rolls through Utah, uh, 13, 14, 15 through Utah, Colorado, and the southern, uh, in the four corners. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. I don't have a ton of confidence in that. What I have more confidence in, and you can kind of see it coming south, there's a front that moves through Wyoming and then into northern Colorado. That's, I think, more possible. And then watch what happens here. 16, 17, 
and 18. See that front right there that drops south out of Canada through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado? I have more confidence in that because that there's just more data for that, I think, down the road. But make no mistake, this is going to be a much warmer and drier period for the Intermountain West before any of that comes barreling in. So my totals reflect that, and here they are. I mean, it is just exceptionally dry. The, the little amounts of snow you see in the central and northern mountains of Colorado come with that 15, 16, 17 potential front. There may be two fronts that come through. I um, wouldn't hold my breath at this point. Minor amounts of snow up there in Montana, a little better in Schweitzer, but really the big numbers are up there in the Pacific Northwest into BC and also parts of the Banff area. That's where you're going to want to be if you want powder. Um, that's the way it looks right now. Um, so after, like I said, two or three weeks of just back to back storm cycles, this is what we're going to deal with this week. Hope you can find some powder. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.